Yo, what's up? Today on Passport Kings, I'm going over the five reasons to go on a cruise as one of your next vacations. Engage. I'm Rockland. I travel the globe making videos and recommending destinations. Join me so we can discover, preview, and book your next vacation. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. Now, I'm sure you heard a lot of negative stories about a few cruise ships in the past, like catching fire or, or the people getting sick from eating all the food there, or even worse, um, suffering the fate of the Titanic. That is a good way to sell newspapers, and it's also a good way to get a lot of clicks on your news article on the internet. But the truth is, there's a cruise leaving a port almost every single day. They're doing their rounds, and they're making it back home without incident. The only thing most passengers are upset about when they get off at their port is they wish that the cruise would have lasted a little bit longer. And not only do they come off and book another cruise immediately, but they also tell everyone that would listen about the great time that they had on their cruise. Cruising was not created just yesterday. The people who run these cruises, well, these five-star hotels on the sea, they're very professional and they know how to entertain you. They know how to feed you and they know how to cater to any other needs that you may have. I have an upcoming cruise going to Cuba in March of 2019. And I'm inviting anyone who looks at this YouTube channel to join us. But if you're still unsure about cruises in general, here are five excellent reasons why you should join Passport Kings on this upcoming cruise or just take a cruise on your own. Number five is you get many destinations in one vacation. Many cruises stop at different ports during your trip. If the cruise is more than six days, you can sometimes expect to stop at more than three countries. If you were doing a vacation by flight and hotel, Doing something like that will cost you three times the price. You may be staying in the same room, but every time you walk off the boat, you're in a completely different location. Number four, activities, on board or on excursions. The things you get to do when you get off the ship at certain points like snorkeling or sightseeing or skydiving, those would need to be planned individually if you were just going on a vacation. But on a cruise, one trip down to the service center, and you could do as many of those activities that you would like to do, well, as much as the time provides. There's no longer a hunt to find the right attractions. The ship will drop you off right in front of them. And while on the ship, physical adventures like surfing, water sliding, and rock climbing are just an elevator ride away. Number three, excellent value for the dollar. Eating at a different fancy restaurant overnight while lodging in a foreign city while traveling by plane can be almost as expensive as the trip itself. Telling all your friends to come with you is even more expensive by plane, but it comes out way cheaper if you and your crew go on a cruise. And entertainment for the entire time is all included. Where else can you find death-defying shows, or you can eat restaurants and buffets, nightclubs and extreme sports then to top it off you get to explore new countries and cultures all for one price and it's usually a price less than half of what you would have paid to do these activities separately when it comes to money and vacations there's no better savings than going on a cruise this episode is brought to you by what used to be called travel hacking but is correctly named award stacking save thousands of dollars on flights while rapidly improving your credit personally this system has changed my travel life right now the system is over 50 percent off click the link above and start traveling non-stop for so much less number two you get to see a new country without dedicating yourself to that country Sometimes going to a new country, like when I went to Dubai, was very overwhelming. But the opposite could be true too. Sometimes you could get somewhere and say to yourself, I surely wish I was somewhere else right now. Maybe you're there on the wrong day or maybe just the wrong time of day. Sometimes after you've seen everything that the little uh, tourist area has to offer, you're honestly ready to leave. With being on a cruise, there's a whole lot of entertainment going on on that boat. I suggest you jump off, get a feel for that place, have a few drinks, and when you're ready to get back on, you'll have plenty to do while waiting to disembark to the next location, which may be a whole lot better for you. Only cruises offer that as an option. Number one, the entire family can come. Kids are welcome, spouses are welcome, 
Your whole crew can ride together. Your jump offs and side pieces are all welcome on a cruise. There are so many activities for kids on a cruise that they'll be happy and exhausted every night, especially if that cruise is themed and dedicated to kids. Some people may say that cruises are played out because they say all you see is obese people overeating and doing the electric slide. But if that's your concern, you really need to run with your group of friends or your significant other. But remember, many, many people hook up on cruise ships, sometimes even with the staff. I know one person who was in a very long relationship with somebody that they met on the cruise. But even if you find love there or you bring love there with you, the experience will last you guys for a lifetime. So the question of the day is, have you been on a cruise recently? Would you recommend it to others? Let me read what you have to say in the comments section. I love reading everyone's ideas and responding. Ever since my first cruise, cruising holds a special place in my heart. Because vacations are supposed to be relaxing, but running around in a new city can be exhausting when you're trying to find the hot spots. On a cruise, everything is at arm's reach. And there's someone to help you reach it even if you don't feel like it. <laughs> don't forget to go to www.passportkings.com to pick up my free book called Make Money Online so you can travel more. And lastly, if someone ever tells you that you shouldn't go on a cruise because you won't enjoy it and want to tell you about all of the negative stories that they've heard, tell them you appreciate their input but you're quite capable of making up your own mind on whether if you like it or not. And tell them you would rather experience it for yourself like a king, a passport king, peace.